What's up? My name is Kyle Duke. I am a off-road race car driver for Monster Energy Drink and Toyo Tires, and that's what we do, man. That's what we do for a living, and that's I love doing it. Twenty fourteen started off really well. We started off with a win right out of the bat, and and to do that is like the the first blow to the competition. You know, sometimes you have a bad race or a bad start, and and uh, you start looking for excuses. Well, we didn't do this, we didn't do that in the off season, blah blah blah. You want to come in strong, so we were able to come in and win the first race, and had an accident in the second round, round two to two to ten. We won them all. I mean, it just it just never ended. I don't even know how to explain what it feels like to win and win and win and win. I know what it feels like to lose a bunch, but when we came in this year and won a ton of races, it's like everything that we're doing is paying off. The record was seven in a row in, in a single season. Once we met that, it was, it was like, all right, we matched it. We, it doesn't do anything to match it. You know, you got to beat it. So pretty gnarly when in the moment, you know, you just winning a race. But when you look at the big picture, like nobody's ever done it before. So that alone is pretty epic. We had our, our streak broken in Reno by uh, two failures on, on the race machine. And uh, kind of heads down, you know, pretty bummed and spent a lot of money, broke a lot of parts. And we had to turn around that next day and go right to Crandon. And I was like, man, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this. Like, if I go to Crandon like, and break anything and don't win this cup, I'm gonna be so bummed and so in the hole. And in that first race on Sunday, we'd never touched the dirt. We had no idea about our top speed, our gear ratios, how everything would work. <laughs> like, we just kind of went for broke. We did the land rush and started picking off like a truck a lap and the roll across that line, dude, from going all the stuff at Reno, all the stuff there, working, and just going across that line and knowing you just smoked all those guys, like, it didn't get any better. in front of the crowd of 25,000 plus people, you know, standing on your car watching it go by, like, it's a pretty epic feeling, dude. It's just a, just a cool experience to be at Crandon. Came back out to Las Vegas and had a little bit more bad luck. It got rained out. We had huge torrential downpours in Vegas. The whole kind of scenario just changed instantly. We were about to go racing and then it just got shut down right away. So it's kind of a weird deal, but it actually worked out really well because Elsinore is a best track and I love racing here. And, we went out there and had some good battles right in the beginning and just wanted to get to the front. And as soon as we got there, we were able to just put a stamp on it. I think we ended up the, the best way we possibly could. We literally almost won every race this whole year, and uh, it sucked watching anybody else win besides us, but I know that's racing, and I can't win them all, but I sure try to. <laughs> and uh, next year, we're just gonna try to bring out our new hot rod that we're gonna race and test all summer. Oh, I just dropped my mic. It's hung up on my nipple. <laughs> I have, I have hook, hook nipples, no.